Jamhuri. And I'm here to share my international experiences, build bridges between cultures with the hope of making the world a better place. Uh, we have entered spring, springtime, spring season in Manitoba, Canada. And you can hardly tell the difference from winter. No flowers, no grass. But we are making a little bit of progress. Tiny bit. It's minus 3 degrees, which is good. Low of minus 10 degrees Celsius right now. And I'm grateful for that. We also, uh, on the 21st, we had the spring equinox in the Northern Hemisphere here in North America. And today, March 23rd, 2023, is a very special day. It is called, uh, it's special in the way that the planet moved astrologically. astrology and I have gotten into astrology recently I've been fascinated by it and it's been a no-go zone for me for many years for religious reasons but I've broken through I'm interested in the mysteries of life and I have allowed myself to explore and it's amazing uh, I will address this later in another video and some of you may not be ready for this but that's okay it is said the last time Pluto was in Aquarius, like today, was 248 years ago, and that was in 1798. And it takes so long, 248 years, for the planet Pluto to enter into a solar sign. And when it does, a lot of changes happen. And so we are set to experience a lot of changes and I think we are already and uh, a lot of it is drastic changes in society and I think that's what I'll focus on today because we are seeing it it could be on TV I haven't watched TV for three years for special reasons I wanted to have my own thinking have a clear head and maybe Pluto was already affecting me as it comes slowly. But a lot of people have quit watching television and a lot of people have had drastic changes happen in their lives. They have made what we call quantum leaps, sudden changes in their life. Maybe all of a sudden change locations where they live, where they work, change jobs, were fired from jobs. If you're watching uh, YouTube reporters, because uh, that's where a lot of people these days get their independent views, there are a lot of riots worldwide. Right now in Argentina, there are millions of people on the streets. In Israel, uh, things are happening there. In France, in Africa, and the African uh, countries right now, they are seeking to break free from their colonial masters because they realize actually they have not been free economically. So they're seeking economic uh, freedom and they are kicking their colonizers out. And uh, so there's a lot of unrest. It's because people are tired of being ruled in that way, not in a proper way, being controlled and taken advantage of. So this may translate also into personal relationships, things that don't serve you anymore. And I think it's because people are experiencing their personal power, what their authentic self really wants, their God-given rights and, and freedoms. And uh, just a few weeks ago, I did a video on personal power 
and what that does to you. You become strong inwardly as you become authentic and realize you know, that there are so many things that are holding you back, a lot of powers holding you back. So it is said that uh, this Pluto will create a drastic changes in the systems of the world, the governing systems, maybe even the banking systems. So we'll wait and see. I'm really curious. I'm already aware of a few things which I cannot talk about right now. And I'm curious about how this will affect my life personally, my family. It has already affected someone I know very well. And so it's not really a bad change. Uh, they say it's time. And it's also said uh, we'll see a quick uh, innovation in technology and inventions. A lot of things will happen. May God keep us uh, alive to experience this, things that we've never seen before. So uh, I'm just wondering what is going on in your life? What is percolating? What are you resisting? Has anything happened to you lately, to your loved ones, you know? And uh, I would say, let's be courageous to face this because uh, they say life is about three things and it happens in nature as well. Like we see right now around me, this is a season, I mean winter was a season of death. We see a lot of trees that have lost their, uh, their leaves. We see animals sleeping, so the long sleep like death. And um, springtime is happening now, which is rebirth. As soon as this snow goes away we will see grass grow very quickly flowers and birds come around and there's a reproduction of animals and life comes back rebirth and then after that throughout summer life is maintained to maturity and then it goes back again to some kind of death and so it's said that uh, the same happens to human beings cycles of life uh, of birth maintenance death and then life again i am actually personally experiencing rebirth because uh, a few years ago i was going through uh, i guess a destructive or death phase and a lot of things had to go my limited beliefs my different kinds of uh, mental ways of thinking that were not healthy programming you know I, I had to let go and for that to happen uh, some kind of different kinds of crisis came into my life and they are quite unpleasant and those are the ones that keep us kicking and screaming and you know not wanting to go through but uh, I would say through my spiritual teachers I have come to accept those phases to welcome them because there's nothing we can do about it and uh, it's supposed to change us to mature us into a new level of life of operating so i think i just went through the last two years my destruction phase or the death phase and i call it the cocoon phase and uh, i just entered the rebirth recently some of you uh, have announced that um, and I'm so looking forward because the time of uh, rebirth is uh, you become creative new ideas come into your mind you are happy excited and you know you have very positive outlook in life and uh, I hope that you can learn something from this information learn to accept what's going on in your life if you're struggling if <laughs> chaos is happening in your life you are probably going through that phase of uh, uh, death phase or destruction phase of things that no longer serve you could be jobs could be relationships it could be ideas you might feel a new you trying to come out percolating I would say set yourself free this is a time of courage and do not be afraid of what others will say because uh, I think we've all been living in a program world 
and we are individuals with a lot of inner power with a big calling in life say yes to yourself and uh, let's walk forward and I just wanted to share this information and didn't want to miss this day this huge day that comes every 248 years Pluto entered in Aquarius so the last time was 1798 and it coincides also with the coming of spring and so it's very very powerful and I am in a contemplating contemplating mode and uh, I'm actually feeling quite balanced right now and I'm looking forward to, with, uh, to what happens this week and going forward I'm gonna have my eyes wide open and uh, I get my information from uh, reporters from YouTube that I I think I believe those because those are seekers also they're not relying on the normal way of getting news uh, I think that is already an old thing and we are all discovering that and our eyes are opening up and I hope your eyes are opening up allow yourself to go with the flow because it's time for us it's time for humanity to be free and the way that we were meant to be so thank you if you like this message uh, please share it with others and subscribe to my channel so that uh, you can uh, receive more information. And happy spring! Happy spring!